Hi there, let's go over how we're going to get a rank 20 chocobo, which stat trees you should do, and a breakdown of the companion menu in that order. First, you will obtain the chocobo by just playing through the main story. Once you get to your grand company around level 20, you will get a chocobo issuance to which you will take to the quest holder, My Little Chocobo. Once you obtain your chocobo and you have reached level 30 with your job, Another quest called My Feisty Little Chocobo will pop up under your MSQ. When this quest is completed, you will now be able to summon your chocobo to battle with Geishul Greens. And yes, I probably mispronounced that. What's a video if I'm not mispronouncing something? Now, chocobo levels and ranks are different. The chocobo will share your job level no matter what. So if your job was level 5 or level 71, it will sync to it. The chocobo rank, however, is what we are leveling when the chocobo gains XP. Your rank can go from 1 to 10 at first, to which you will reach by just making sure to have it summoned at all times during MSQ play and when you're out in the world. Now, I would not go out of your way to level your chocobo. They will naturally level as you fight in MSQs and do fates or fight enemies. I did the MSQ first and did not focus on much else all the way up to Endwalker. So my chocobo wasn't ranked 10 by that time. When I finished Endwalker, it was probably like rank 8. Luckily, we have fate farming that needs to be done for Shadowbringers and Endwalker expansions that are extracurricular activities, so I would just hold out until then to level if you are concerned. Another way that you can gain Chocobo experience is if you have a stable, which you have access through your free company, and just send your Chocobo on training to get experience. This isn't the best way, but if you want to have it keep leveling while you're doing other stuff, it might be a good alternative for you. Taking the time to do it at a really low level is not worth your time and better spent getting through the MSQ. Once you've reached rank 10, you will notice that you cannot gain any more XP, but we are able to max out your rank using a Thavnarian Onion. You can obtain these one of three ways actually. The first is by two quests in Heavensward area. I will link the wiki page to those quests in the description box if you want to check them out. You can also obtain these from your free company. Many free companies who do gardening tend to give these out for free to their members or you can just ask your free company if anyone has any extra. The last way, which of course is my favorite and most direct, is to just simply purchase these off the market board. They can be costly though, so I would shop around at every server to check prices as they can go from 150,000 to 500,000 a piece. Now, the con is obviously that they can be a tad expensive, but the pro is by the time you need one, you'll probably have plenty of guild to purchase these as you only need one at a time. You don't need to buy all 10 at once, it will take time to rank up from 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and so on, so it is pretty manageable gill-wise. You can just repeat this process up to rank 20, and that is how you'll get your chocobo to rank 20. Again, I recommend waiting to do your fate farming for Shadowbringers and Endwalker, as they get all sorts of cool stuff for finishing those, so you might as well kill two birds with one stone. If you got any value out of the video so far, just make sure to hit that like button. Now let's go over the chocobo stats. As from what I've researched and have been told for many years I've been playing that there is a specific way to do the stats to so make sure it's the best as possible. Firstly, you'll want to take the healer roll tree all the way up to the last skill. And by that I mean stop at number 9 and not get number 10. The reason we want to do the healing chocobo is it comes in clutch for just about any situation and is the most useful for just about any job. The reason we don't grab number 10, Choco Medica, is I've been told time and time again that if you activate this skill, the chocobo will prioritize that ability over Choco Cure or Choco Regen, which is a weaker AoE heal and tends to spam it. So if it's left to its own devices, it won't be pretty helpful. Though I am interested on the veteran players that might be watching this, let me know in the comment sections for all the sprouts which way you do that. After going to number 9 in the healer tree, we're going to fully maximize out our DPS tree. Now I underestimate this stun skill here as it's been so useful in fate farming in later expansions. Lastly, the rest of your skill points is going to go into the tank tree for the chocobo stat upgrades. The reason we do not prioritize tank as the chocobo can never do enough damage to keep enmity full and you tend to take away anyway if you're attacking the enemy. So the heal is far more useful in early game content for sprouts. If you have messed up your abilities or haven't found them to be useful the way you did it, you can just use a regen pepper in order to reset the SP stats. 
You can purchase these by 20 allied seals, which are easy to get through the hunt, or 48,000 grand company seals. Now for brand new players, let's break down the companion menu. If you don't need this section, then make sure to limit break through that subscribe button before you head out. When you first click into the menu, you will see a summon tab. You can put these to your hotbar so you do not have to keep coming to this menu to summon or withdraw your chocobo. You can also have your mount command here, which is the only way to summon your specific chocobo companion as a mount to fly on. You have commands to which you can give your chocobo. If you're at early levels, you might want to keep them on the healer stance for a while just to make sure you don't die to any enemies while doing MSQ. Other than that, I don't really use these. I just leave it on free stance most of the time and the chocobo just does its thing. If you tab over to skills, you'll see the three different trees. As we discussed earlier, we will go to healer level 9, attacker 10, and then the rest into defender or stats. You gain SP points to which you can use these abilities and that is represented right here. You will have some lingering ones as you level up so don't feel the need to spend them just because they're there make sure to follow the formula first the last section is the appearance if you did not know you can change your chocobo's color the current yellow is the default color but once you have access to a stable from your fc or apartment you're able to feed your chocobo different combinations of food to change it to a variety of colors you also have the gear here which is referred to as chocobo barding to which you can obtain through all sorts of methods either msq purchasing off the market board or crafting them yourself now that we have covered everything i hope you have a full overview of the chocobo you can obtain and train in final fantasy 14. if you got any value out of this video please do not forget to limit break through that subscribe button down below and you'll find all my links to my discord twitch and patreon if you want to watch more final fantasy guides and tutorials then you can click here